Well, you know, there's a saying, if you want stuff done right, do it right the first time. Well, I guess this makes this time number 17, so I guess it's better the second time around? Third time? Oh, who cares? Here we go. Mess the God. What's happening everybody? It's your boy Ken O'Shawn back here with Blue Oval Media. Today we are tearing down this daggone KSD notch. Hopefully for the last time. Alright, I got the legendary, the one and only, Mr. Walt No No over here to help. What's up, America? Let me, let me be honest with you. Here we go. <laughs> Here we There's go. a reason why we're going back into this motor. He wasn't satisfied with with, with 1300 horsepower. So, uh, you know, we coming back for more in 2021. Everybody always needs a good hype man. Everybody. To purchase these right here because we are going to put the car on those so that we can actually pull the car in a little bit. And just to give you an idea of all the things that we have to do. We have this Ron Francis wiring kit that needs to come out of the car because I am going with a Holley Terminator X setup. So Ron Francis kit has to go. Unfortunately, I have to pull the supercharger off again because we have to put injectors and another wiring harness on there. So got to pull this supercharger off. I also have a brand new radiator again because I'm going back with the Fox body radiator. So I can at least that's the one part that I have right now. So let me at least show you that. Even though the box is upside down, uh, shout out to LMR, um, as we have this, the new radiator here. Now, if you don't know, I had already purchased the radiator before, but I'm going back to the Fox body. And so that radio radiator right there is a Fox body radiator, black three row SVE, and I'm putting the Ford contour fans on it. So, um, I'm going to be taking the radiator that's in here out. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the Fox stuff. So all of the tanks and everything are going to be removed, but I'll explain it a little bit more in detail. So this is what we're doing. I'm getting rid of this and I'm getting rid of this. We're going with the tank in the trunk for this one right here so that I can put ice in it in case people wanna talk crazy and meet me on the track or the dyno. We're gonna get this up out of here. This I'm getting rid of as well. Um, if you all don't know, the O3 Cobra radiator is wider. And so I'm actually getting rid of this, the hole down, it's, I'm getting rid of it. And this brand new SVE radiator that's only been in here three months, it's about to leave as well. And these stock O3, the stock O3 fan, it's about to get um, get rid of it as well. And I'm gonna rewire this um, so that it can look a little bit cleaner. This is a part that I didn't necessarily like. So I'm gonna pull this all this out and put that, uh, that other one in. And so that's part, that's one part of it. And then like I said, the supercharger has to come back off in order for us to put our new injectors on here. So you're probably wondering what size injectors. I'm going with the Bosch 210 injectors to put in here because we are going E85. Oh yeah, corn, corn, corn. Let me give you all an update of where we are so far. Um, we got the car on those uh, stand thingies. I'm almost done with getting all of this stuff unloosened and taken out. I'm about to snatch all that out. But here's the part I have never, oh, make sure if you're on Instagram, follow me at KSD Notch. But here's the part I just refuse to show anybody. And for the first time, I'm gonna show you all my disgusting trunk. Oh my Lord. And Walt just said, whatever, I'm just going to pull all the wires off. So this was my Ron Francis wiring kit. And all those wires right there went into this right here to make that Terminator work. And because I hate it, we, take it, we, we took it out. 
but yeah this these this, that's a lot there yeah, this trunk looks terrible and uh, I'm determined to make it look right so stay tuned as we like I said as we come over here I said I'm gonna get all of this here I'm gonna get this tank out get I almost got that one out I just drained the coolant so I'm gonna go out and drain that can take this hose off um, I already got the bolts on loose for the bracket and then man we're gonna get this out and that's the last you will ever see of me having tanks on top I couldn't I hated it and part of the reason why I hated it is because it caused that right there you see those two nicks yeah that actually came from this in the boat that was on here from closing it and so never again man um, I'm gonna get that fixed and and these will be gone so stay tuned there goes that Ron Francis wire kit with all 100 million wires and we got the seat out as well and technically that's the last time that seat will be in this car so we got that knocked out I don't open up the new box just to kind of see the uh, the new radiator I'm just gonna put it in there just for mounting purposes but I do have the other one out and as you can see there is nothing in there so i have this condenser sitting right here and i just want to drop this other radiator in to check and make sure that for size and purposes i can get those hoses out so put that we put a little bit of light over there but yeah that's the condenser i want to make sure that the ac worked with that o3 cobra radiator it was too wide and so yeah i'm going to try the uh the new sve radiator in there just drop it in there real quick see if it works and then we'll go from there stay tuned i got the old radiator sitting over there somewhere it ain't even old i got the new radiator sitting over there but i got the new new radiator sitting right here so oh yeah back to the fox body Doo -doo -doo -doo. all black sve oh yeah Here's the thing, I know it's gonna fit because it's actual fox body, but let's just test it out. And see, this is all I cared about was having enough room for the AC lines to come in right here. That was that was what was big for me was these AC lines with that other radiator wasn't gonna work. And so having this on here helps. Uh, these hoses are much, a little bit bigger, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, it works. So um, I get the, I'm waiting on LMR to send me the mount. Uh, I got that. So I just gotta wait on them to send me the mount and the uh, contour fans and then kind of go from there. But I, I won't install it until after we put all this stuff back on. But I just wanted to do a quick test fitment, but like I said, I've had this in here before, so I wasn't too, um, wasn't really too concerned about this. I do have to get a rubber for the other side. I don't know where it's at. It's always safer with a rubber, so I always know that, kids. <laughs> so the fans did come in from LMR, so it's kind of like a few days later. And these are the contour fans. Now, the reason I'm just gonna leave them in the plastic right now is because I still have to wait on the mount to come from LMR where you mount these fans onto um the actual radiator so those just came in and i have this new mount right here um so i'm going to kind of show you all the old mount versus the new so you can see a comparison all right so this is the fox body mount in comparison to the o3 mount now this was actually custom made for me um because there wasn't anything available to make this thing work and so you know custom drill holes or whatever it doesn't look the greatest now <laughs> it's kind of been beat up a little bit but we're going back to that and as you can see how much um shorter it is so like i said it's going to allow me the opportunity to run the ac lines because of the fact that um it's not as wide so that's pretty much part one of this video man it's it's back to being cold out here i hate doing this stuff outside in the cold but that's part one um and part two um we're going to get the supercharger off get the injectors off do all the stuff that we have to do in that um, i just want to kind of just show you all this whole breakdown process this is the time where we built these cars and so i'm going to take you all through the build process all the fun exciting stuff um during the warm months kind of over with and so this is what we do in the winter so i hope you all like this video if so do me a favor please a like please subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments uh like i said we're going with e85 and let me know what your thoughts and 
what you all think I should do. Be good to know. It's your boy, Ken Oshawa, Blue Oval Media, and I am out.